this is just a quick update on my previous one. Um, just to let you know that plans have changed for this weekend. I won't be attending uh, Flaming Thunder at Santa Paul due to uh, reasons beyond my control. However, I will be attending the uh, Fireworks Spectacular event at Shakespeare County Raceway. So uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, decent footage from there. I'm just waiting for a reply back from the uh, from the press crew at Shakespeare County Raceway to see if I can get a press pass and uh, close track access for the whole event. So fingers crossed uh, that will come off. I don't know if any of you out there have got any information or can help out with any information. Um, as some of you may know, Shakespeare County Raceway or Shaky uh, may well be closing sometime over the next couple of years. It looks like uh, planning permission has gone through uh, for the build of new uh, new housing estate or uh, garden village on the site of Shaky. A letter was issued by the building company uh, referring to the building of the first 400 homes uh, with a view to building another 3,500 on the site uh, sometime afterwards. However, at the moment, I'm still not sure when this will be. Um, but at the moment we're still trying to find out, or I'm trying to find out, if there is going to be a full season next year, a full programme of events, and possibly into 2019 as well. It's a shame because with uh, York Raceway also under threat from closure, um, it will leave us only with Santa Pod as a permanent drag racing facility in this country, and I'm not sure if that can be a good thing. There's nothing wrong with Santa Pod in itself. Um, however, the grassroots feel of York and Shaky is is very nice within the hot rodding community uh, it feels like everybody's friends there and um, to a point you just about know everybody when you see them if you don't know them by name you know them by sight so uh, fingers crossed uh, shaky will get a reprieve however i don't think that is actually going to happen next wednesday is hot rod night i believe next wednesday is hot rod night at the ace cafe so i will be making my way down there on wednesday uh, to do a little bit of filming not sure how good it will be as I have no external lighting on the camera, but uh, we'll certainly see what I can do. Um, it's usually a pretty good turnout, so uh, I'll make my, make my presence known and uh, see what happens. Incidentally, I've got a, night, a new high vis bib on the way with Hot Rod Action Photographer on the back of it. If anybody of you see me about wearing the bib, come and say hello. Thanks to those of you who have had a look at the vlog. Uh, as of today, there's 61 of you have had a little look at it. Um, I know not all of them. I've looked all the way through it or watched it to the end however thank you for reading uh, if you've got any suggestions about the vlog other than the obvious editing problems and uh, my lack of smiling on the video uh, then please let me know again via the vlog I would also like to say thanks to uh, Pete Chandler who provided me with a couple of uh, nice hot rod action uh, photo title screens uh, which you'll see at the beginning of this video thanks Pete you're a star hopefully if you can make it to one of the hot rod nights at the Ace Cafe uh, we'll have a chat to you uh, for the vlog. Uh, artist extraordinaire and uh, the King Kappa himself, the man who collects all the uh, artistic selfies taking in shiny bits of hot rods and various cars. Okay that's enough for now and uh, I'll be back with you with the next vlog uh, whenever I do it. Cheers then, bye bye.